What's up everyone, Technic here. So if you ever wanted to put custom themes on your adrenaline, this is how you do it. So let's get started, shall we? Now, first things first, step one, please click on the Google Drive link. All the files that you need to download are in there. There's going to be a themes folder. There's going to be a CXMB folder, which stands for custom XMB. And there's going to be a VSH.txt file in there. It's going to be a text file. So do me a favor and click on the three dots on each file and then scroll down and then click on download. Do that for all of these and you're going to be dragging and dropping all these files inside of your PS Vita once you plug it into the computer. After you do all that, we're going to go ahead and move to the next step. After you downloaded all the files from the Google Drive, we're going to be going right back into Adrenaline. Once Adrenaline has booted up, go ahead and hold the select button for about one or two seconds. And then let it go and you're going to see the adrenaline vsh menu pop up we're going to be going into the recovery menu so go ahead and scroll down to the recovery menu and press the x button if you're on a japanese ps vita press the circle button once you're in the vsh menu we're going to be going into the configuration tab and then in the configuration tab, you're going to see something that says skip Sony logo. As you can see, mine is currently enabled. Yours is most likely going to be disabled. Do me a favor and click X on it or the circle button on it, whichever one works for you, until it says enabled. After you do that, scroll back up, go to the back button, and then scroll all the way down and go to exit. The reason why we disabled the intro scene for the Sony PSP Adrenaline menu is because sometimes when it comes to custom themes, the intro scene that some people sometimes puts on it can freeze adrenaline once you enter inside of it. So to avoid that, I had you disable the intro scene so it doesn't happen. You can still use adrenaline normally. After this, we're going to go ahead and back out into the home menu. If you don't know how to exit Adrenaline, you actually have to double tap the home button. So it's not just once, you have to double tap it. And then go ahead and close Adrenaline. And we're gonna go into Vita Shell next. Now for all the files that you've downloaded, it should be a CMX or CXMB folder a theme folder and a vsh.txt once you've downloaded all those files they're going to all be inside of your ux0 so for all of those files you're just going to be going to each file and pressing the triangle button on it then you're going to scroll down once and then click on the x button to move that file i've already done so so i'm going to show you where these files actually go. You're going to be going inside of your PSP MU folder inside of your UX0. Once you're in there, your CXMB folder that you downloaded is just going to go straight into the root of the directory. Your VSH.txt file is going to be going inside of your SE plugins folder. If you do not have a SE plugins folder, Go ahead and press the triangle button, scroll down to new, go to new folder, and you're just going to be naming it SE plugins. So that's, go ahead and delete the new folder text that's already there and just type in SE SE plugins, just like that. Now I'm going, I'm not going to be creating this folder because I already have it. So that vsh.txt folder file is going to go inside of that SE plugins folder. 
when it comes to the themes folder you're going to be going into the PSP folder and then moving that themes folder inside of this PSP directory after all that is done you should be good to go to use the custom themes but what I like to do anytime I do anything in the Vita show is I press the start button and I scroll down to reboot just to make sure that everything transferred over okay so go ahead and reboot your PS Vita or PS TV once your device has rebooted go ahead and go right into Vita show or not Vita show sorry go into adrenaline Now adrenaline sometimes closes the first time that you try to open it. There's a plugin to fix this, but for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you that the custom themes do work in adrenaline now. So you're going to scroll all the way to the left and my menu looks slightly different. You're going to scroll down to theme settings then you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click on the theme tab as you can see all of the custom themes are on there the theme pack that you downloaded from the Google Drive is going to have about 41 themes in it but you can also add any other themes that you find to change the theme you just simply click on one. I'm gonna try to find a cool one for y'all. <laughs> Honestly, they're all pretty cool. But I'm gonna show you one that kind of has a different kind of animation to it. So once you select on a custom theme, it's going to reboot the X and B menu and then boot it back into the custom theme. I really like this theme because it has a moving butterfly in it and there's a lot of other cool aspects to it as well. But just keep in mind, and I'm going to show you this in the system settings. If I were to go into system information, as you can see the system software is 6.61. So when you do find a custom theme, 9 times out of 10, you're going to have to find the custom theme for 6.61. There are custom themes out there for 6.60, but find the custom theme that specifically says 6.61. Um, later on, please check the Google Drive again because this is going to be a permanent Google Drive link that I'm going to leave for this video, but I will be adding more themes later on. Other than that, this tutorial is over, and I've taught you how to successfully install custom themes onto Adrenaline. And not only that, this works if you have a PSP as well. You put the same exact files in the same exact places. But this is Technic. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.